My name's Michael Crickoff here at uh, Three Bridges Robotic Dairy. Uh, we've been going for 18 months with the robots. Really appreciated what GEA had to offer. So it was a natural choice to go with GEA and I believe that to this day we've still made the right choice. I think they're a fantastic robot. The service we get from Daniel has been second to none. We've used other providers in the past. Uh, Daniel is here at the drop of a hat. If he's a long way away, he'll do what he can to get here. Nine times out of 10, we'd solve most of the problems we've had over the phone. Lots of flexibility with this system versus the conventional system where you're regimented to a morning and a night milking every single day. Once we've changed to robotics, there's been a number of things that we've realized that we didn't foresee before we change from conventional. Probably number one being animal health, cattle condition. We've increased milk production, cow comfort, lameness issues have disappeared, just been a whole array of things that we didn't sort of factor in with going down this path. The number one thing in our minds was a labour saving. We don't have two and three and four people putting cups on cows. We've got the same system putting cups on cows every single day of the year. So as a result, we've seen better cell count, cows just behaving very calmly. It's a very low pressure system and it's working really well. One of the other things that was a highlight with GEA was uh, the option of multi-sized cows in the one box. So we've got three different sizes that we can use. So we've got small, medium and large. We don't need a separate robot for milking small or large cows. Normal farming day now, probably I still get up reasonably early in most mornings. People are working now, don't start work until eight o'clock in the morning. Traditionally, we've started at five, around five o'clock in the morning for the morning milking and don't generally finish till about 6.30, 7 o'clock at night. Now the people at work here, nobody starts work before eight o'clock in the morning, with the exception of when we're doing silage and hay, everybody's gone home by 4.30, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. It's just, yeah, it's, it's enabled us to shift the labour from putting cups on cows to focusing on a bit better pasture management, maintaining fences, shifting the focus to using the labour more efficiently, doing other things. The ability to manage cell count with individual quarter management with GA is far better than anything I've seen anywhere else. Another thing with GA, we really like the idea of a pit and the ability to manually put cups on a cow. So we've got the ability to go in behind the cow very safely, press a button and manually put the cups on for the first 24, 48 hours if we have to. We've also decided to go down the path of herd testing. GA was really the only ones that offered a very good herd testing system that we basically plug in, press herd test, go home for the night, come back the next day, all the samples are ready to be put into the herd test system and sent off to the lab. It's been very little infrastructure changes outside of pipe work, steel work, a little bit of concreting, but we've managed to use all the same facilities that we had. Uh, next generation for me means bringing something to the farm because dad brought the dairy, grandpa bought the beef cows and my great great grandpa bought the land so I want to bring something and I think I want to bottle our own milk and make our own produce like ice cream, butter, cheese, sell it locally and start a mini, mini, mini business. Next generation is, is going to look very different. I think we're now only limited by our imaginations.